Hello my friends, here we are back in Luminar Neo and today I am going to show you how to dodge and burn in Luminar Neo. This is a highly requested video and uh, before we start with a few examples, we want to talk a little bit about what is dodging and what is burning. Dodging is lightning and burning is darkening and if you ever forget that, just think about when you burn your food or if you get a sunburn, it darkens the color. So burning means darkening and dodging is lighting. And why we use that? Well, we use this technique to create depth. And uh, I am gonna start by this portrait example first and show you how to dodge and burn. We will use three different methods today. There's many ways to do dodge and burn, but we will just use three and um, yeah, let's get started. I will first start with the develop and I'm gonna start with burning, which is the darkening. I am going to turn the exposure down maybe about this much. And then with the brush, I am going to darken the face, the parts of the face that I wanted to, you know, darken. Naturally, when you uh, dodge and burn a portrait, you will want to darken the temples just a little bit. And then you will also want to darken a little bit over here to create the skinnier chin. Maybe something like that. Then I am going to zoom in a little bit. Let's go to 100% maybe. Maybe that's too much. Let's see. We'll, we'll work with that. You will also want to add a little bit. I'm going to reduce the strength to 50%. You will want to add a little bit of darkening right here under the bottom lip. And this will create the appearance that the bottom lip is fuller. So I'm just going to add a little bit there. And then I am also going to contour the nose with it. And uh, to contour the nose, you want to start over here with the eyebrow. And you want to define the nose. I'm going to do something like this. And I'm going to go on the other side as well. And this way, the nose will appear thinner. If you looked at before and after. Before and after. I went a little bit overboard just so you can see it better but normally you would not go this much. We also want to darken a little bit under the cheekbone and this will give the appearance of higher, more youthful look. So I am going to increase my brush size a little bit and just go a little bit over here just to contour the cheekbone. And let's go fit the screen again. So far, this is what we have before and after. Before and after. And it looks like, you know, I went a little bit too much, which I said I would go overboard, but I'm going to erase maybe a strength of seven, no, a strength of 32. I'm just going to erase it just to make it more natural. There you go. And now this is our before and after. So that was the burning. Now we're going to move into the dodging. So I'm going to close the develop, open it again, and this time I am going to increase the exposure. With the exposure increased, I want to take my brush and only paint it in the areas that I want to make brighter. So let's uh, zoom in again. We'll go to 100%. What parts do you want to get brighter? Well, usually um, you want to get under the eyebrow a little bit. That will just lift out the eyebrow. And yes, I went too much, but we're going to reduce the exposure, the effect later on. You want to add a little bit on an inner eye that will just create the, you know, makes, makes the person look more awake. Okay, we did that. You want to, usually you want to go on the bridge of the nose. She already has a pretty strong highlight over there. So I'm just going to add a dab just on the tip of the nose. Then you want to add a little bit on the cupid's bow, kind of like over there. And you want to add a little bit on the chin and under the eye is a triangle right over here. All right, let's uh, fit the screen. And this is the dodging before and after, it's way too much. I will take my eraser and I will erase 
Let's start with 50% of it, see where it takes us. All right. Before and after, before and after. Maybe I will erase even a little bit more. Let's say 66. This is our before and after, before and after, just a little bit more subtle. Our whole dodging and burning, this is our before and after. Before and after. See, it shapes the face a little bit, gives a little bit more contour, more, uh, you know, definition. Let's move in into the second example. And uh, this time we'll use a different method. The method I'm going to use to dodge and burn this image, it's going to be true layers and blending modes. I am going to go to edit and I am going to add the same image as a layer. So here we have the same image, the original and the layer one, exactly the same image. I'm going to increase the opacity to 100%. I am going to change the blending mode. I'll start with burning and I will change this to multiply. These three um, blending modes over here, darken, multiply, and color burn, they are darkening modes. So I will start with multiply. It is way too dark, and now I will adjust the opacity to whatever I think it would look good. And then I will take a brush and start burning where I need to. Usually on this image, it would be the side of the rocks. So take your time, adjust the brush accordingly, and move through the image. I'm not going to do the whole image, I'm just going to do a few rocks. That way this tutorial doesn't end up being, you know, 40 minutes long. You don't need to see me painting rocks. I'm just going to do a few for demonstration purposes. So you would want to darken the parts that already are dark and lighten the parts that already have highlights in it that are bright. Uh, okay, we'll just keep painting just a few more. Let's see. And this is, uh, I'm just going to do these rocks over here just so you can see it. And now if we go to our layer and hide it, this is the before. And this is the after. So that was our burning. Now let's do the brightening, the dodging. So I'm going to add another layer, the same layer as I had before. And this time when you go to blending mode, you have these two... Blending modes that lightens things is lighten and screen. I am going to use screen for this one. Reduce the opacity until I get the brightness amount that I want. And then with the paintbrush, I am going to paint on the top of these rocks as I want to show the effect just on the top of the rocks. And we'll just do a really quick job. You should take your time and make a more accurate painting, dodging and burning. I'm just doing a really quick job so I can show you guys, move quickly through this. All right, so let's see. This is our hide layer. This is the before. And this is the after. Let's see the whole image before and after, before dodging and burning. So this is our before, a little bit more flat. And this is the after, has more depth to it, more contrast, if you will. So that's the before, and that is after. And this is how you would use uh, layers and blending modes to create dodge and burn effect. Let's take one more example, and this time we'll do a different way of dodging and burning. Let's see. Um, I will do this image, even though I'm not sure it's a great example, but we will try it. And this time we will use curves. 
No, let's take a different example. I have another one in mind. Let's see, where is it? This one. Great candidate. Let's see. And we will go to curves. We want to go into the luminance part of the curve over here, the white tab. Make sure that one is clicked. And bring it down to darken the image. And then, just like before, we'll take our paint brush um, and we start painting into the parts that already are dark where the shadow is, just to create more depth. You have to adjust the brush size to fit your image. So keep moving through. I'm just gonna do a really quick job. Just to create more definition. Let's see, I'll bring some over here. Maybe a little bit on that side, a little bit in here. I'm not gonna go into the background over here and dodge and burn. I'm just gonna do the foreground just quickly. All right, let's see. Where are we? So this is our before burning and after burning. Before and after. All right, now let's move into the dodging. So I'm going to open my curve and add a little bit of brightness. If you want, you can always add some color too. Like if I, I can add a little bit of red maybe, and then a little bit of yellow, which is the opposite of blue. So I'm gonna drag the blue, blue down. And let's see, now I will paint it with my brush just on the highlighted areas that we want to dodge. And you should take your time and do an excellent job. I'm doing a sloppy job. Small brush, I'm just gonna go over these edges. Of course, you don't have to do the same opacity or the same strength, I should say. You should change your strength from one to another. Give it a little bit of variation. Make the image more interesting. For this example, I'm just doing it one strength just to do a quick dodge and burn. And let's see where we are. This is our before dodging. This is after, before, after. Of course, it's too much. I like to go to my eraser, put strength of 50%, large, soft brush, and just go over everything to reduce the effect to 50%. And this is the before and after. And if we wanna see the whole image before and after dodge and burn, there's the before, more flat, and after, before and after. And this is how you dodge and burn and Luminar Neo. I believe soon in the next few weeks they will add a dodge and burn tool. But for now, this is three ways you can achieve this effect. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Kyla Ewing. I will see you in my next video.